Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Alex, the Sega Guru here, and we've got a brand new port to the Sega Dreamcast. In fact, one that we've never seen before on the system. It's Voltage Fighter. The Neo Geo CD title is now fully playable on the Sega Dreamcast. This really is a first-time affair, and one hell of an affair at that. If you don't know the game, it's essentially a really cartoony kind of superhero-y type fighter. Well, that's the way I'd certainly explain it, but for me... I think you probably just want to take a look. Let's take a look. So as I said, Voltage Fire is a 1995 superhero themed head-to-head -head fighting game produced by Technos Japan Corp. Now obviously playable on the Sega Dreamcast for in fact the first time ever thanks to Ian Michael and his Dream Neo engine which really is working wonders. There's no audio lag here which is fantastic, clear, crisp visuals, this has to be one of the best Neo Geo CD ports to date. Well, that's what I think anyway. As you can see, he's gone all out here with the help from many of the other DC devs in the community as well, including Adam Enfilade, Dub City, Floru, Deluxe, and many, many more. Now, this version even includes the intro that was a part of the PS1 version, which you would have seen just a moment ago. There's no frame skip here, meaning a solid and stable FPS with virtually zero dipping in frame rate. The game features full VMU support, as well as full analog and D-pad control scheme, which for a fighting game gives you a grand range of choice. And to be fair, I actually think the Dreamcast controller works very, very serviceable for fighters. As I may have already said, I darn well love this game, and it's taken me massively by surprise. I'm not a massive fighting game fan, as you probably know, but this truly is something quite special. From the soundtrack to character design, I'm certainly hooked. I also found the control scheme pretty easy to get used to. Yes, I button bashed a fair amount, but hey, don't we all do that with fighting games? And hey, it also enabled me to pull off some special fighting moves. I also enjoyed some of the risque humour, let's say, including butt slaps, yes, that's right, butt slaps, and that felt, you know, for a fighting game, really quite awesome. I love that bit of humour. And to be fair, for me, with the background imagery, sometimes that kind of had me quite immersed, from kind of a rock gig venue to a beach scene to many other scenarios, it really did mix it up and perfectly well. With this version, you can also change the region by holding the start button at the swap screen, which is another great feature. To be fair, you can tell Ian has a passion for Neo Geo, I know he really does, based solely on his work here and with the range of Neo Geo CD titles now playable on the system, with even more coming. Really, you can't see any difference between the original hardware and what you have now. In fact, this, to me, may even look slightly better. What Neo Geo CD title would you like to see Ian Michael give the treatment to? Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. It's Alex signing out. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that you can also back the channel on Patreon, QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video, you can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.